Another local boy. Our next auctioneer works in the exclusive leafy western suburbs and has been privileged to auction some of the most exclusive and expensive homes in Perth. Oozing European charm and style and probably the best looking guy in the competition. <laughs> oh, and representing Western Australia, please welcome Frank Torre. Well, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Perth Convention Centre. It's just gone 2 p.m. on this magnificent Monday, the 3rd of September, 2007. The advertised starting time for today's auction of 232 Broom Street, Cottesloe, Western Australia. Frank Torre is my name. I'm a licensed auctioneer with Mac Hall and Associates, and we proudly welcome you all to the many buyers. I wish you the best of luck with your endeavours today. To the neighbours and eager onlookers, we hope you have some fun. And to the sellers, we take this opportunity to thank them for entrusting us with the sale of their magnificent home. A home I know that they are rightly proud of, and a home that a lucky buyer here today will be proud to call their own. Before we get underway, I wish to quickly pricey the auction terms and conditions. The contract package has been available for collection and viewing during the marketing campaign. Today's contract package is exactly the same as that one that you have viewed and seen. It specifies the legal description of the property of 232 Broom Street, Cottesloe, as lot 42, on deposited plan 3332, and is the whole of the land container certificate of title, volume 1, folio 304. It specifies all the buildings and improvements erected upon the land are included in the sale, together with the chattels, plant equipment, fixtures and fittings, the fitted floor coverings, the light fittings, the window treatments, the air conditioning, dishwasher, the remote garage door, security system, and the swimming pool plant and cleaning equipment. The zoning is residential R20. There is no GST applicable to today's sale. Settlement for the new owners will be on the 2nd of November 2007. 60 days from today, ladies and gentlemen, plenty of time for you to organise your move and get ready to enjoy the best summer of you and your family's life in your new home. Upon the fall of the hammer, the buyer will sign this contract with me and pay a deposit of $60,000, and upon settlement, we'll pay the balance of the purchase price. Now, the usual conditions of the auction apply today. Firstly, the property is often subject to a reserve price. The highest bidder accepted by me, the auctioneer, will be the buyer. I have the right to refuse any bid should I deem it in the best interest of the vendor. I shall regulate the amount of advance of each bid and if you're bidding on behalf of someone else, I need to see your written authority up front. Otherwise, if I do knock it down to you, you will be the buyer. The vendor reserves the right to bid personally or by the vendor's agent up to the reserve price by not more than 10 bids. In regards to vendor's bids, ladies and gentlemen, if a vendor bid is required, I and I alone will make it and I will clearly enunciate it to you all. If a dispute arises, I will do the best to determine the dispute or we will resume the bidding at the last undisputed bid. And finally, the joint forms of general conditions for the sale of land most recently approved by the Real Estate Institute of WA are annexed to the contract and form part of the sale. At this juncture, are there any questions in regards to the conditions or the terms of today's auction? Ma'am, good afternoon. How can I help? Uh, can you let me know when you reach the third price? Because I don't want to be the sort of property is going to be sold. Ma'am, for you and for everyone else, my instructions to offer the property without disclosing the reserve price. What I can say to you is whether or not we get to the reserve, if you're not the highest bidder, if you're not the front runner, then unfortunately you won't be in the box seat. I wish you the best of luck with your bids, ma'am, and for everyone else. Any other questions? Ladies and gentlemen, it's good to see a big crowd here, and I know why you are all here, because offerings of like 232 Broom Street, Cottesloe, Western Australia, are true generational opportunities. A luxurious, two-level architect design family home. Huge accommodation, beautifully designed with some of the best function and design cues you'll ever see. Comprising up to five bedrooms, three bathrooms, separate living zones over two levels. You've all seen it. Outdoor terraces, fantastic separate living and family zones. And of course, that a magnificent outdoor entertaining pavilion surrounded by the beautiful sparkling crystal clear swimming pool. It's a home that's a showpiece. As I said, a home to be proud of. And situated upon 656 square metres of prime Cottesloe land, you and your family will be secure in the knowledge not only you're living the resort lifestyle, superb entertaining, but you'll be secure in the knowledge that you are living in one of the best investment properties you could find under your own roof. Because Cottesloe, without doubt, 
is the best suburb in Western Australia, in my opinion. With the beach just down the road, the cafes, the walks, the restaurants, the swim, the beaches, those glorious sunsets. It's no wonder why Cottesloe has seen the highest growth in property prices in Western Australia by none. Now, am I biased? You bet I am. But have I ever been proved wrong in the last 15 years? The statistics will show no. No other suburb has done what Cottesloe has done. It is the creme de la creme. Forget the East Coast, forget the Gold Coast, the Sunshine Coast, the West Coast of Australia is the place to be and Cottesloe is the jewel in the crown. But you all know that. That's why you're here. Your buyers have done your homework, you've done your research and you know that this opportunity today is not going to provide you just with some of the best living you've ever seen for you and your family, but it's going to be a sound investment for the future as well. But enough of me, buyers. Ladies and gentlemen, it's about you today. Finding a new owner of this magnificent home, and I place myself in your hands as number 232, Broom Street, Cottesloe, is on the auction block. What am I, bid? Does someone want to get me away? Opening bidders now. Let's start. New owner here today. Who wants to start me away? Now, you haven't come all here just to see me. You're here to buy. I know there's many buyers here, many contract package takers. Who wants to start me away? Is there an opening bid anywhere at all? The $1.2 million in the room, just to get us going. Opening bid anywhere. Very quiet. Very calming on this beautiful day. 1.1. Just looking for an opening bid anywhere at all? Ladies and gentlemen, $1 million. $900,000. Sir, I'll take your bid. Thank you very much. Welcome into the bidding of the best of luck. $900 i have got now. Fairly called out here, and I'll take it in 50s, 950. I'm looking for now, sir, 950. Thank you, ma'am. Straight away against you now, say a mil. 950 I've got with the young lady. Against you now, sir, number 48, a million I've got now. Million and 50 straight back, can I say? Million dollars now, million and 50, may I say? Nodding that way, not the right way. Million I've got now, is there a million and 50 anywhere at all? Million I have, sir, opening bid an hour away. Against you and anyone else now, million and 50 I'm calling for. Take the 25, thank you, sir. New blood now against you and against you. A million and 25. Sorry. Thank you very much, ma'am. A million and 50 I've got now against the two bidders here. Sir, sir, a million and 75, can I say? A million and 50 with the young lady here now against you at the front with one bid and against the opening bidder now. A million and 50 I have. A million and 75 I'm looking for. First call. We're here to sell today, ladies and gentlemen. We're not here for a haircut, not here to see me. Genuine vendors, a super attractive reserve price. At a million and fifty I've got now, looking for a million and seventy-five against the two gentlemen here now. First call I have. Second call now at a million and fifty, looking for a million and seventy-five. Third call. Fairly warned. Million and fifty with a young lady, million and seventy-five, can I say? Third and final time. Then will bid with me at a million and seventy-five against you all now. One point one, can I say? Million and seventy-five bids with me against you, ma'am. Can I say one point one? And anyone else now? Million seventy five, one one I've got now, one one two five. One one here I have, one million one hundred thousand dollars on my right, looking for one point one two five. One million one hundred I have, one point one two five I'm looking for now. One million one hundred and twenty I have now, one twenty. Can I say one forty, sir? Against you, ma'am, against you, sir. Number forty. One million one hundred and forty. Sir, nodding but at her or at me, one million one hundred and forty I've got now. Thank you very much. One one forty, one one sixty. One one four five. 1,145,000 I got now. Same courtesy to everyone else. 50 if you like, ma'am. The ma'am, as I said, I'm not disclosing, but if you're not the front bidder, you'll never know. 1,140,000. 1,100,000. Sorry. Come on. Sorry. No, we can't afford it. Sorry. Yep, 1,050,000 I have now. 1,050,000 I have. 1,150,000. Sorry, sir. 1,150,000. 1,150,000. That's thank you very much. 1,100,000. And 50,000 I have now. 1150, confirm there. Against you, ma'am. Against you, sir, at the back. 1150, offer you 20 if you like, 70. 1,150 here, I'm going to call for the first time. 1,150,000 dollars for the second time. 1,151. 52. 51 now, sir, 52. First call. Second call. Third and final call. 52, sir. 53? 53. 3. 4. 3 now. 4. 
So you're just holding your pen or you're bidding there? One, one, five, three. Once. Twice. Third and final time. Are you out? Sir, ma'am, four, five. One minute, 154,000. One minute, 155. 54 once. 54 twice. You've been quiet, sir, for a while. For a thousand, you're not going to miss out. Third and final call at 1,154,000. Confirming the bids here with you, sir, ma'am. That's good. I like that. 1,154,000. Got confirmation of the bids there for the third and final time, sir, ma'am. Nod this way. Going for the third and final time. Going. Congratulations, sir. Congratulations, ma'am. Sold to you at one million one hundred and fifty-four thousand dollars. To the underbidders, my commiserations. Thank you for being part of it today, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you had a bit of fun. Congratulations to the buyers. Good afternoon.